Martial arts self-defense. In Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu self-defense model, it's like a funnel. When you start standing, there's a lot of volatility, a lot of different things that could happen. Punches, kicks, hair grabs, tackles. There's so many things that can happen, it gets a little crazy. But in, at Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, you start in a distance that is too far to be hit, right? So none of this even matters. But as soon as the opponent gets to a range where they can hit you, you transition through movement, through kicking and punching range right to the clinch. There's less options that can happen in the clinch. You've reduced all the different options to a few, and then you take them down. When you take them down, you want to establish the mount. When you've got a good mount, even less options for them. As you continue to progress the controls, there's less and less options. It's less volatile. And if you know where you are and you know what you're doing, it's a very successful model for self-defense. So if we're able to get to the top mount and do all that hard work, we don't want to lose the position of top mount. We want to secure the position. This is the moment when we do a takedown that the scramble is going to happen. The bad guy still got a tremendous amount of energy and I need to weather the initial storm. So step one, top mount number three, I want my hooks in. Now look. I want to push my belt down so heavy by lifting my hooks so high that my hands can float. So I take 100% of my weight and where do I put it? It's all in my hips. It's all connected to him driving down. This is the number one element that gives you control of the mount is connecting your hips with tremendous hip pressure. Sound good? All right. It's like airplane wings. Practice, do a few with your partner and come on back. Ready, hi to me. Come join me again. Let me grab you again, Tristan. I'm gonna be on the bottom this time, okay? All right, so I'm on the bottom, Tristan's on top, he's gonna give me hip pressure. His hands can flow. So what are my options? Keep, if you can just kind of maintain. If I push him to the side, what happens? Arm catches. Arm catches. I have a tremendous amount of body weight on me, right? So my option is to push. Does that work? Did I create some space? Do I feel like I'm making some progress? Am I making progress? Yes. I'm making progress. Bad guy's having some success. Come on back. So now in response, what should Tristan do? So I push him up on the chest, what he, should he do? Push down against me? No, what should he do? Okay, he's gonna get his knees underneath him. He's gonna do a high swim, right Sammy? You remember how to do the high swim? One shoulder retracts, now go back. So when I push you up, go ahead and lean against me. So that's gonna make sure I maintain the push, right? If you take the weight off of me, I'm gonna leave this, but now I feel like I'm doing something. So would you take this shoulder and lift it behind you up in the air? Uh -huh. Take that free hand and shoot it on the inside of my push. Right to the floor. Uh, other side. Yep. Now the other shoulder's gonna lift backwards and you shoot that hand in, do the same thing. He takes the inside position of my push and then he establishes his mount again. But this time, he's going to, yeah, reinsert his hooks, but he's gonna add a neck hug. Nice and deep with the elbow. Okay. Can I push him now? The answer is no. Does that make sense? So, most important element is deep hooks, hip pressure, right? Your hands can float, they provide you base. Bad guy can't do much except for push you. We're expecting them to, the, them to push us. When they do, we slide up on our knees, as they push, maintain the weight down on their hands so they continue pushing. One shoulder lifts back so this hand can take the center line. Center line and then drop the hooks back in and add a neck hug. Ready, set, go. All right, so bad guy can't push. When they do, you just go right to the high swim and then you're back. 
but when you're back, you add the neck hug. So now when I go to push, you're so tight that they cannot remove you. Now, are you spending much energy? No. This is the moment where you guys just initially hit the ground. There's a lot of activity that's gonna happen. Bad guy's still fresh. It's a mad scramble. In the mad scramble, you shoot your hooks in, you have good hip pressure. They go to push you off. You high swim, you add the neck hug. They try to push you off again because they don't know. They find out that's not gonna work real quick. What's next? What's bad guy do next? Side to side. Uh, let's see, Senpai Sammy, can I have you help me this time? So on my back. On the bad guy, Senpai Sammy is a good guy. He's got the hooks, he's got the neck hug. One hand is maintaining base. The other's got a deep neck hug. So deep neck hug, the elbow is bent holding the neck. This is ideal. He's got strong hip pressure. Now look, if I push him to the side that has the post, awesome. He's got the hand post there, but watch what he does. He's gonna take the same side knee as the post and he's gonna flare that knee up to the side so that if the arm fails, I gotta hinge him up and over his knee. Meanwhile, the trailing hook is heavy. So trailing side has neck hug and hook. So of course I push, no go. So what am I gonna do? Obviously try the other side. When I try the other side, he switches his leg hook first. Then he switches his neck hook second. So leg hook is primary, arms are secondary. I try the other side. Push him other side, leg hook first. Other side, leg hook first. Leg hook first, yeah? Okay, now add side to side, legs first, arms play catch up. That make sense? Okay, Hachime. Come join me, let's regroup here in the center again. Can I grab you interest? Would you lay on your back? All right, so I got hip pressure. Do you see my right leg is up? Left knee is flared. So if he tries to roll me this way, without even a hand, and then if he captures my hand, hold on. He's got that hand posted. Do you see? So now if he switches, other side please. Do you see the quick switch, the flare of the knee? So my hands are secondary. They're not a primary element. The primary element is the leg hook being able to be flexible and switching and have tremendous hip pressure. The bonus is the hug and the post. Does that make sense? All right, now these are important too because if he tries to bench press me off, there's no way. Absolutely no way. Make sense? Okay, so now what's his next move? The posting arm, he's gonna try to come up over his head and wrap it. If he wraps it, I'm in more trouble, but I can rely on my leg hook pressure to hopefully save me, right? So, I'd rather keep my arm. So look, my arm is at a 45 degree angle. When it's at a 45 degree angle, would you wrap it? Go ahead, wrap it. Go ahead. Come on, wrap it! <laughs> you see? Now watch. Sideways angle, wrap it down. Go ahead. <laughs> it's a battle. So is angle important? <laughs> Angle's important. What if it's over my over his head? He's not gonna be able to wrap it, but I have no post. I have no sideways post. 45 degrees gives me the ability to withstand his initial burst. So he tries to wrap it and he surprises me. Boom, I just hold my arm straight. It's gonna take him a moment. Does that make sense? Would you try to get me right at the elbow? He tries to get me right at the elbow. Hold it, hold it, hold it, go. Now look, hold. keep going, keep going. Look, swim, hand to the inside. Swim hand to the inside. And I reestablish my arm without him trying to compress it. What would happen if my arm's here and then he tries to wrap it? And I'm resisting and I try to swim. It gets stuck. Does that make sense? It gets caught as I try to swim. So I need a good angle. Let's go, Tristan, let's get it again. Then I can swim. Good angle and then swim. Does that make sense? If he pushes to the other side, switch my legs, switch my hands. Watch his head. Would you switch? Do you see how I lift his head? When my arms switch, I keep his head off the ground. If I go like this 
And then I try to catch too late. You guys ready to practice? Thanks. So now, we've got a few things to practice. We have airplane, first on the bottom, bench presses. We high swim, add the neck hug. What's next? Side to side. Legs are first, arms are second. Then they're gonna stop and they're gonna try to capture your arm, but if you have a good 45 degree angle, you can resist and then swim it right back, reestablish it. And now all of a sudden, you've got a top mount that cannot be bench pressed off. It cannot be uh, bumped side to side. They cannot trap and roll and bridge their hips. You're too tight. You've got a top mount that is something else. People will submit simply because of how good your top mount is. You don't even need to hurt somebody. You've got them completely controlled and they cannot hurt you. Yeah? All right, let's get really good at this. Hi, Jimmy. Back, 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 back